Before April 1954, the common belief, the universal belief, was that man was not physically capable, he could not run a mile in less than four minutes. That was the belief on the planet. It had never been done. Roger Bannister came along. And he broke the four-minute barrier. Now, here's what's significant about that. Since that time, up to this day, over 20,000 people have done it, including high school kids. What changed? They knew it had been done. And because they knew it had been done, there was a new belief, knowing in their heart that someone had done it, that it's possible that they could do it. If someone can make their dream become a reality, then it's, it's possible that you can make your dream become reality. I'm the friend that the trade ain't up to the hospital doing what to do. <laughs> <laughs> My friend Carolyn's coming next week. Yeah. That's a nice holiday. It's good though, come in. At least it doesn't take a shuttle. Well, you just wait. <laughs> <laughs> We've got to get them clicks in. We've not got Amory anymore. <laughs> Oh, probably by the end of today. <laughs> Good morning. Well, today is the whole falling down turret situation being dealt with. I'm going to stabilise this as quickly as I can. I've had some helpers today, actually, just people that pop by and were like, just give me a broom, <laughs> which was so kind. So that's been a help and they helped me get a few things up and down as well. Ah, oh, just... Just this situation. I'm thinking if I can use this jack just to take up this kind of half a centimetre, then I can start bricking underneath, let it set and slowly move out. I mean, let's just see how it goes. It's been here for 40 years like this. I don't think it's going to fall down anytime soon.
very nearly at a good stage. In the end, the jack thing wasn't working and that big bit of masonry was just kind of held there in place, making everything wonky, so just slowly to get away. And I think it's better to just do it properly, something like this, rather than just brick it up quickly so it's held. Like, let's just get that job done and safe. Okay, last few bits. Oh, I'm so glad that job is done. Nice and straight. There's quite a lot to be replaced, actually. But it's all holding up now. Obviously, once that sets, it'll definitely be holding up. Yeah. There's a few little bits here and there where bricks have kind of degraded. So once that sets, just brick by brick, I can kind of take one brick out, reset it, and just... Kind of a slow job, but for now, all safe. Thank God. See? Told you it'd be easy, just move a couple of tons. <sighs> Glad it's gone though. So now this urgent problem has been sorted. I can wait for that to dry, take the beams out, take this brickwork out, and then we can start that whole process, which I did before, of re-bricking it up, redoing the arch, ready for this new floor, which I'm so excited about. And actually, like with the work I'm doing up here, by the time that floor goes in, this bit is going to be like ready, like done, super sound, rendered, hopefully. Well, we'll see. But yeah, there's still a bit more to do. Like, yeah, there's this whole situation going on. But I ain't worried. You shouldn't be worried. I'm going to go home, get something to eat, and I'll see you tomorrow.